Twister Zilli Balloon Guy here, and I've got a brand new video for you. Today we're going to be using a lot of the techniques that I've been teaching you over the last couple of weeks to make our two balloon puppy dog. I know, it's not a copyright infringement if I don't actually say what it looks like. I think. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. For this balloon animal, we're going to need two different color balloons. Um, normally, I recommend using the same color but different shades. Uh, so you can use a light green, a dark green, a light pink, a hot pink, a uh, light blue, a dark blue. And it'll usually let, look better if you use the lighter color for the face and the body and the darker color for his nose and his ears. So we're going to start by uh, doing the body of our two balloon puppy dog. Uh, I'm using the lighter color for the body, and I've left a, a pretty substantial tail, probably about five inches of tail on this. You're going to need a lot of leeway because we're going to do a lot of twisting in this particular balloon. To begin, we're going to make what's called a three bubble roll through. It sounds more complicated than it is. Uh, this is a good twist to learn how to do. We're going to be using it in a lot of different sculptures. It's a pretty basic shape that you're going to want to have under your belt. Uh, so start by making about a two and a half to maybe three inch bubble and then go ahead and make another bubble the same exact size. Take your nozzle and wrap it around and then bring it through the center of the two bubbles to lock it in place. Now we're going to make a third bubble approximately the same exact size. See how I did approximately and exact? Now you don't know where I'm coming from. So go ahead and twist off a two and a half to three inch bubble. We're gonna bring it down. You're gonna split the first two bubbles and push the third bubble through the first two, locking the whole thing in place. So go ahead and stretch that out and you can see I'm actually rolling the third bubble through the first two bubble. And this is going to be his, uh, his muzzle. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make another two uh, to three and a half inch bubble. This is going to be the one side of his face. You're going to make a one inch bubble and we're going to immediately ear twist that. If you don't know how to ear twist or make an ear twist, go ahead and watch the teddy bear balloon uh, tutorial where I teach you in depth how to make an, uh, an ear twist. And you can click the link above uh, for you know ease and comfort. Now that we've got our ear twist, go ahead and bring that down. We're going to make another two and a half to three inch bubble, the same size as the other side of his face and we're going to lock that together. And now you can see this is going to be the dog's muzzle, and these are going to be the eyes, and we're going to lock the ears in right here. The rest of this design, for this balloon at least, is going to be uh, making just like our puppy dog. So we're going to make a neck, we're going to make a leg, another leg the same exact size, and we're going to bring the balloon through to lock that so it doesn't come and twist you. Remember our invisible knot. We're gonna go ahead and make a three inch bubble for the body, another three inch bubble for a leg, another three inch bubble for the other leg, and take what's left of the tail and just push that through, making another knot, an invisible knot, so it doesn't come undone. And now we've got, this is the base of our two balloon puppy dog. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the nose and the two ears for our puppy. So take your uh, your darker color, whatever you've decided to use. Uh, you really only have to inflate this like halfway. We're not going to use the entirety of the balloon. You're going to find that as we learn more advanced balloon sculptures, uh, you're going to end up using in some cases just like a small bit of a color just because you need an accent point. Uh, for this though, we're going to use probably about half the balloon. So the length of the tail doesn't really matter too much. To begin, we're going to twist off about a one inch bubble. And you're going to take the knot and you're going to tie it around. So you're going to make sort of like a little ear twist. So go ahead, loop the nozzle through, and that will give us our little ear twist. Now we're going to break off this nose. And once again, if you don't know how to break off a balloon, go ahead and watch the video above where I go way in depth on how to break balloons. So go ahead and snap that nose off and put it somewhere safe. We're going to use it later. And go ahead and tie the remainder of your balloon. Now the ears, Really, however long you want to make the ears is fine. I usually make them about maybe like five or six inches, maybe about a hand's length. Uh, as long as your ears are the same size for both ears, you're going to be fine. So go ahead and twist off so that you have the same exact size for both ears. 
and you can let that twist go now. We don't need it right now. Go ahead and snap off the remainder of the balloon. We don't need it. Tie off the remainder. So now these are going to be our ears. All we've done is we've measured a length of balloon that we need for our ears. Go ahead and split this in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our ears and we're going to wrap it around the ear twist at the top of the head. So take the center of your ears where you twist it. Go ahead and wrap it a couple times around the ear twist. Bring it around so that it's facing the front of the head. Now they're kind of just like just like horns at this point, so we want to give them a little bit of shape. So what I'll do is I'll grab the ears and I'll just kind of give them a little rock and roll to give them some like dog ear shape. See? already coming together. Now we're gonna take the nose and we're gonna tie it in in between the two top bubbles of his muzzle. So take the, uh, the nose and I like to just hold it in place with my thumb while I wrap it around. So take the um, the nozzle end and I like to just wrap it around his, his eyes and then roll the nose in between the two bubbles of our muzzle. Now we have a 99% completed two balloon puppy dog that looks surprisingly close to a cartoon character that I used to watch as a child. I won't say which. The last thing we want to do is take a Sharpie, a permanent marker. I've seen people use dry erase markers. I don't really like to do that because they come right off because, you know, dry erase. But also, I feel like this goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. When you're working with a permanent marker, please be careful you do not drop the marker on your clothing, on your carpet, near your couch, near your kids, your friend's kids, your dog, your friend's dog, what have you. I'm not sponsored, but I am going to throw a shout out to Sharpie, as they make, in my opinion, the best permanent marker. I've been using them for a long time. I also love that they make uh, retractable fine point Sharpies, uh, so I don't have to wrestle with the cap, because I've lost too many shirts. Uh, trying to draw the face on a balloon with a cap in my mouth, which by the way, gross. And then I'll try and recap the pen and I'll just destroy a shirt because I dropped the, the pen. So uh, I'll actually put a link down below if you guys want to get some of these. They're really amazing. You can pick them up at Staples or if you're an Amazon shopper like myself, I've got a link below. You can get a box of like 12 for pretty cheap. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw uh, two eyes, uh, little check marks for his uh, eyebrows and three dots on either part of his uh, muzzle to indicate whiskers. So I'll do, ooh, I love that sound. One eye and a check mark for an eyebrow. Uh, another circle for the second eye and a little check mark for an eyebrow. And then one, two, three dots, one, two, three dots. And you can give this to a kid. This is a completed balloon. What's really nice about this balloon is it is marginally more difficult than the one balloon puppy dog, but my god, the impact, the magnitude uh, of just how much better it looks is, is astonishing. Um, this is one of those balloons that if I am pressed for time, if I'm at like a school function and I've got a line of like 50 kids deep, I will make this all day. You just ask the kid, hey, what are your two favorite colors? What's really great is if the child doesn't know what he or she wants and you're kind of pressed for time, you gotta keep the line moving and you gotta get out the door to your next gig. And they'll say something like, I like blue. And I go, well, that's one color, but I know what to do here. I'll use two different color blues. Um, and you can just make them a two balloon puppy dog and they're probably gonna be happy with that. All right, that's our video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed making the two balloon puppy dog. Um, looks really great. I tried in a bunch of different colors. Just for fun, since I gave you a clue on what it would look like to make a blue one, here's what one would look like if you made it with magenta as the color for the ears and the nose. So let me know, guys, did you like this video? Did you make it in blue or magenta? Otherwise, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you click the bell down below, you get notified every week when I drop a new video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for our next video.